The RCMP Special Technical Analysis Lab in Ottawa has helped in many Canadian cases to break open devices, thwart encryption, cases of national security, kidnapping, drug trafficking and murder. Now the RCMP won't talk about how they get past encryption, but there is one possibility. It's a technique called chip off, where the police actually get their hands on the physical phone. This forensics company gave us a demonstration of how it works. They open up a BlackBerry, heat it up to physically remove internal chips sealed inside. Then using software and a special reader, they try to analyze and unscramble the messages and information. <clears throat> Good tea. Anyways, uh, thanks to you for joining me for another video. Today is going to be mostly about forensics. And I'm going to see if I can make this a two-part series. Because um, uh, I got a lot of requests on TikTok and on YouTube uh, to talk about more about forensics. So um, here I am, talking about forensics. Um, so I think the, the, the most asked question um, about uh, this type of field of work is um, how do you get into it? Uh, what's required, software, hardware. So I think in this video, I'm going to focus most mostly on the certifications that you would need or certification. Um, and then the software side and what else is required. Now in the second video, I'm going to probably go over the hardware. I'm going to mention some hardware in this video, but I think in the second video, I'm probably going to uh, demonstrate some of the hardware. I mean, if you, if you follow this channel, you probably have seen me use a um, bunch of these tools, but um, yeah. So let's get into it. Now at the beginning of the video, you saw um, a CBC uh, video from 2016. Um, obviously I look different now. I did lose some weight, uh, clearly. But um, you can see then uh, our lab was a little bit different. It is totally different now. Um, we'll go over that in the second video. But um, this is when CBC came to us regarding a, a chip of case and, um, and uh, decrypting a BlackBerry. Now, it is a bit more complicated than what they were showing. Uh, they just want to see how chip off itself is done. Um, I have some knowledge on the on the decrypting stuff on Blackberries, but I can't talk about it, unfortunately. Uh, that's one thing you're gonna deal with uh, forensics is you're gonna sign a lot of NDAs um, and some things you just can't talk about. So how would you get into forensics? Uh, well, you have two options here. Um, you can go uh, and get your computer science degree, uh, and that pretty much will probably give you the basis to, to become a forensic investigator because what, it, what really is computer forensics? So computer forensics is it's a branch of digital forensic science. So you pretty much be you're gonna be looking for evidence on digital hardware or, 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 or on computers or w w whatever you're looking at, you're gonna be looking at uh, ev looking for evidence. Now there's procedures you have to follow and all that is, you know, um, hash hashing of the, of the evidence and, and uh, chain of custody and all that stuff. Uh, I might talk about it briefly, but this is probably a, a more in-depth discussion than this. So where did I get my certification? So I got my certification here from the, the ISAFC, so which, which is the International Society of, of Forensic Computer Examiners. So I have a CCE certification. So my certification um, covers pretty much um, broad, broadly computer forensics because if, I mean, there's people who get like uh, NK certification or they get uh, some other spe specific to single tool certification like Celebrite. That gives you just certification to do to be an expert in in that particular uh, tool, um, but with CCE you pretty much covered everything. Um, now certifications are not alone, not not alone are not enough. I mean, you can have tons of different certifications, but then uh, you might not be um, you might not have any experience in this stuff. I mean, uh, usually when when you if you're gonna go to court as an expert, which I have done in multiple occasions. Um, the, the side that, that hires you, they would prefer someone with more experience than tons of certifications because you can have so many certifications but you might not be that um, proficient in, in what you're doing. Uh, so I have a bit of both, I have a lot of certifications plus I have a lot of experience so I'm kind of, I have a mix of both which is pretty much uh, the best thing to have. Uh, now I've been in, I've been certified for almost 11 years and uh, I've been pretty much doing forensic work since then. Um, you know, and you never stop learning, so you always keep going and, uh, you know, you have to be on top of things here because if you're not, then you're pretty much going to fall behind very quickly. 
and that's the biggest drawback but that's that goes for any field you're gonna have to be on top of these things you have to learn every day you have to uh, follow the um, what the trends are um, gonna do a lot of reading but uh, that's pretty much what you have to do so let's look at ISSC so they have a boot camp um, I think it's um, in um, Georgia so you can either boot camp in Georgia now because of COVID um, there is no boot camp you can do it online now to pass CCE, it's rather difficult. Um, you gotta have an average of 80 or 85 percent to pass. Um, the way they it used to be structured, I don't know. It's probably still the same now. Um, so the way it's structured, it's, it's you first you, you you pay your after you do your training. Even you don't have to. You can just go straight to it. But I mean, I would suggest you do your training. Um, so you get a written written um, test. That test is like a uh, it's just them making sure that you can even do this type of work. So this test is uh, rather difficult. Um, and if you pass that test, then you can go on to getting your first three um, um, kind of fake cases that you have to investigate and then you have to write your report. Um, the cases are pretty straightforward. I mean, to me, they are now. I, when I was doing it, they were like, holy crap, what is this? But, I mean, but you know, it's it's not crazy it's just as long as you know your procedures you would have no problem passing this test so um, they give you I think two months per case so you have a floppy case and you have a cd rom case and you have a hard drive case it might have changed now I don't know if it's still the same it's, it's it, I mean it's been 11 years it for sure has changed so and then once you certify um, you have to recertify every two years and it's not as simple as you know I just go and pay them to recertify you you have to either prove you've been uh, working on real cases and you have to give them the list of cases you've been working on. Um, you have to show them that you've been learning other things. So you have to uh, show them what books you've been reading in the last two years and, and all that stuff. So you do have to uh, prove to, to the board that you are still doing this because you can quickly fall behind. Um, so once you once you are um, uh, certified, uh, you, can, you can start your career pretty much. You can start looking for a job and and um, I'm sure if you if you look around for jobs, you'll see a lot of times they do look for CC certification or CFC. There's a bunch of different ones, but CC is is well known in this field, so um, that's that's why it's good to have. So once you are um, once you are also you also you also have to be notarized and go to your lawyer and you have to do a background check, all that stuff. That's all you have to do. Um, let me see if. Um, what they have here on the website. So this is a. Um, you can look at some sample cases they have on the website, um, and I'm gonna link everything below. Uh, everything we'll talk about today, and I'll link it below. So here we go. Uh, you can open these cases and you can play around with it, and it's, it's on their website there. Do they still have? Uh, let me see something. They used to have um, certified individuals. You can look up. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. So once you're certified, you will be listed on their website. So let me see if you can find me. My name is not secret. I am a public figure. Uh, well, I'm well known in the forensic field, so obviously I'm not gonna hide my name. So here I am with my name, my my email address. Uh, sorry, my link to the company. So if someone's looking for someone specific in the area, they'll find you through here, and it's uh, and uh, that's what's good good about being on this website. So that is ISFC. Um, they have a lot of um, information here. You can go through yourself. Um, they have a forum. Once once you're a member, you have, they have a forum. You can go ask for help. You also become part of their CCE uh, mailing list, which is a private mailing list. It's only uh, computer forensic examiners that are in that on that list. So you have access to all these people. There are people from um, you know government officials in in America and all over the world. So it's it's definitely uh, a great. Um, uh, I guess major brain you can access because if you're stuck on a case you can really reach out to these people okay moving on so uh, once you are certified um, you you either gonna work for a company or you're gonna open your own business I mean if you open your own business you're gonna need a lot of money because I mean forensic tools are really expensive so you are gonna have to buy uh, some of them and then not only that you have to pay um, a yearly fee to use them uh, some of them are, are, are pretty pricey, so um, let's start with the first one that I, I use a lot, and you've seen me use it in some videos. Uh, for what you saw me use it for, it's 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 nothing. It's it's super powerful. 
Um, you can do a lot. I, I want to do a deep dive video to Ax about Axiom one day. Um, so hopefully that's going to happen eventually. So anyways, Magnet and Axiom, they have many different tools, but the one we use mostly is Axiom. Um, you can acquire cell phones, computers, hard drives, all these things, and you can put them through Axiom and it will find it for you. It's really good with third-party apps, especially on um, on uh, um, mobile phones. Um, so, um, and it's, it's not cheap. It's, it's, uh, it was developed by a former police officer out of here, out of Canada. Um, so, m most jobs require you have knowledge on Axiom. I think you can get a 30-day trial from them, so you can play around with it. Um, the other one that I used to use a lot, and not so much now, uh, is X-Ways. Um, X-Ways is it was a German product. It's a really good software. You don't have to keep paying a license for it to continue to use it. Uh, you can buy it once, but you won't get any updates, and we can still use it. We used to pay for license. Uh, I, I think we haven't paid in the last three years, but I still use it occasionally. So X-Way, is it, it looks very simple, but it's extremely powerful. powerful. Um, there's also NKs. I don't know. I don't really use NKs, so I, I can't really talk about it. I've used it a few times back in the day, but uh, it's been so long that <clears throat> I don't really remember remember anything of it. And and I'm only talking about talking about few tools. I'm not gonna talk about all of them. They're just just there's just so many tools. There's the free ones like, like Autopsy. So that's um, so if you if you want to get a free tool to play around with, then Autopsy is the one to get. It it, it can do phones. They have they had a free training a year ago. Uh, and free certification because uh, of COVID. So I hope um, uh, some of you maybe took advantage of that. That was really good to have. They might still have it. I mean, I don't know. Uh, but autopsy is really good and it's completely free. Um, moving on. So probably you should do more than more than just computers. Phones are becoming the weapon of choice for a lot of people. Um, so phones are definitely uh, what we get most of. We used to get a lot of computers. Now it's kind of moved over to to phones. Um, so phones, you know, you have few options. Um, I'm only going to talk about the ones I've used and the ones I use now. Um, so the one I use right now is Celebrite, but we'll get to that after. So Oxygen is it's, it's pretty well known. Um, we had a few trial trials of Oxygen to test it out. Um, we're still on the fence whether we want to buy it or not, so we're, we're holding off for now. Uh, but it's pretty good. Uh, they they keep adding new features. It's really good at the reports. I know people that use it and they really like the way the the reports are created and structured. Um, very simple to follow. Uh, another one. This is the biggest player out out there is Celebrite. And now Celebrite actually has a lot of more companies underneath now. They they have an acquisition. They have a few other ones which I'll talk about in a minute. But um, Celebrate itself, you've seen me use on this channel many, many times, and that is the tool that we use all the time. And that was like the best purchase we did. It's not cheap, but it's gonna be the best purchase you're gonna make for your company, or if you're gonna work in a company, you're gonna enjoy working with Celebrate because you can break into phones, um, you can um, extract a lot of data. So Celebrate is great. Now I, I've been using when I get a phone in. When a phone comes in here, the first thing I do is I do my Celebrate dump, then I put it through Axiom sometimes, and um, and just to have two forms of they can validate two different uh, extractions. So sometimes I use in the third tool if I if I need to, but um, but overall Celebrate is, is, is it's a great great tool for cell phones. Um, there's another one called XRY from MSAB. We had that for two years. Um, I personally weren't happy with the with it, with it once they did an update from version six to seven. I think I absolutely hated the uh, the UI. It wasn't intuitive to use. It was hard to use. So we just stopped paying for the updates, and that's pretty. I still have it here, but I don't use it. Um, so yeah, I mentioned my acquisition. So Celebrate. This is all the tools they have. Uh, you can they have the digital collector. These are former tools that used to be called something else. It's just they renamed them now. Um, they have a lot of different tools. Now, I don't use any of the other ones. All I have is Macquisition and Celebrate itself. Uh, but that's enough for, for this company. For what we do, this is more than enough. Now, moving away from software, and I'm just going to briefly talk about the hardware. So, uh, you're also going to need a write blocker. That is a must. A write blocker is a must. He's a Gardonics. I had a video on Gardonics. Um, this prevents, so if you plug in a hard drive for imaging, this prevents your computer of to writing back to the drive because if you if you're handling evidence, you really shouldn't be, um, you know, writing back to it because you have to take an image, you have to take hash values, and I had videos on hash on on forensic imaging already, so you can 
uh, you can uh, watch it there. I'm gonna link it above Is it here. Yeah, on this side. Um, so you can watch how forensic imaging works. I made the video a few months ago, so that's uh, that's a video you should watch. Uh, so Radonics, um, there's also Tableau and there's a few other different tools, but you know, we have um, Deep Spire Imager plus we have um, Cardonics, so we use that. Um, so now, here's some pitfalls about forensic work. So you are gonna be given material to look that could be very explicit. So it's, this type of work is not for everyone. And by explicit, I'm gonna, you know, you should use your imagination. I'm gonna mention what it is. It's one of the worst form of things you can find on online. Um, so I had to deal with this multiple times. You know, it, it could really be hard on you because once you see it, you can't unsee it. Um, like in in law enforcement, police has um, support. They can they can uh, they can take time time off to debrief from these kind of uh, things that they see. Um, I can't. I mean, I it's, it's only two of us in this company. So really, it's it's uh, you know, if I feel that one day what I see all the time is going to imp impact me negatively mentally, I, I you know I might have to seek um, um, professional someone someone to talk to. But so far, I've been okay. Uh, it's you cannot dissociate yourself from what you're seeing. You know you're doing uh, work to to help um, put someone in jail or maybe exonerate someone. So you kind of have to. Put aside this and and just 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 focus on your work so there's ways not to see this kind of material there's um um you can look at hash hashes and just compare hashes to a known database and then you don't have to see it uh but you're gonna have to view some of that stuff and it's it's it's, obvi it's obviously not easy for people to look at uh me included um you're also gonna sign a lot of ndas um so you will not be um be gonna be able to discuss a lot of things you do. Uh, NDA is a non-disclosure agreement uh, that um, that you you will be forced to sign by a client because uh, you might be working on a high-profile case, cases that are in, in the news. Um, so obviously uh, you are trusted with this information, so you you obviously can't be discussing with other people. Uh, but yeah, but that pretty much covers introduction to forensic, what you need. I'm, I probably forgot a few things. I, I tried to keep notes of what I'm going to talk about, but um, I might have forgot something. I don't know. But uh, I, if, if I did, I'm going to maybe mention in the next video, which will be next week. And that's going to be more on the lab side of, of, uh, of forensics. So um, this was just, just the beginning. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to clean up the lab because I'm sure it's a mess back there. Uh, well, it's a working lab, so obviously it's a mess. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna have more videos coming up soon uh, on this topic because I seem to be uh, a lot of people seem to like forensics. But I also have some other videos and some flash coming up and a few other things. You know, it will really help if you subscribe, like, and share this video. It really helps the algorithm. Um, this channel has been picking up a lot of um, subscribers. I mean, it's only at 4,000 something right now, but hey, it's better than zero. Um, so I guess I'm doing something right. So I'll see you in the next video next week. More forensic work.